good morning guys what's up today is wednesday guys i'm supposed to travel to kumba today it's raining like i don't even know what i don't know i don't know when this rain is going to stop you know it's august right and august rain is funny you cannot predict when it's going to stop but i hope it does because I just hope that this rain stops before my time that my actual time that i have to leave talk to you guys later guys we left boya at about 4 p.m apparently it was raining not just in tiko but in boya right up to moyoka and so i couldn't film because the side glasses were blare and it had drops of rain i could barely film but when we got to around my 30 to moyoka the rain had ceased so i managed to catch some clips for you guys and i hope you do enjoy um this travel vlog from boyat to kumba and let me know if you are from any of these villages that you're going to see and if you can recognize them because guys <laughs> oh my god those houses on the road had a lot of bullet holes okay enjoy the rest of the vlog and i'll talk to you guys later guys passing through moyoka it was good to see people along the streets uh at least this gets to tell um, you things are getting back to normal gradually guys we we're approaching another police stop so at this point i was exhausted from going in and out of the car to present my id card so if you want to travel to tukumba one thing you should not forget you can forget yourself but do not forget your id card okay it is very important because at every police stop you have to highlight from the bus walk a short distance of about two meters present your id card cross the border and get back into the bus guys still on the id card issue there's something i want to point out so if in case you lost your id card please endeavor to do your id card declaration lost declaration okay and as you're watching this video right now try to photocopy your id card and keep it somewhere because even if you have done the um id card loss declaration those police people on the way will still demand you present the lost id card a photocopy of the lost id card and this is something that i saw from two cases that were traveling with us to kumba okay so i advise you photocopy your id cards and save them for future purposes including myself all right or else these people will just chop your money <laughs> I 
and and guys did i forget to mention nose mask it is very important for you to travel with your nose mask when presenting your id card that's very important or else they are going to demand that you stay with them or you have to spend money all right these people they are finding all the possible means just to eat um passengers money on the way all right country strong so we just arrived we're on our way to the park right now honestly it's surprising how we have too many police controls on the road like about six of them i remember back in the days prior to the crisis we used to have at, at least oh no we used to have maximum of three police control one around ekona one at the center town of moyoka and then of course one at barombikang just before you get into um the town of Kumba. But now we have about six because of the crisis. But the road is smooth. No hitches on the way. hi guys so oh my god i got here around few minutes past six yeah and i've been busy 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 everyone keeps saying oh my god maros is this you you have grown you are not a big girl ah you are a mother how, how many kids do you have are you married like and then when they see me they just start crying because of course it's my name sick that is dead and so most of them knew me when i was a child when i used to come here for holidays and so when they see me they just feel like they are seeing my name sick and it burst into tears and of course your girl cried also yes i cried from my i don't know if you guys can tell from my eyes when i got to the entrance i saw her banner everything just out that that's actually when I, I had to believe that she's gone like gone forever so yeah um the reception uh, since i came has been good i'm currently in our room i just i had my bath and i want to rest because tomorrow is going to be a busy day and i just said let me end the vlog here guys my journey from tiko to kumba was a smooth one I, I guess you guys must have seen the road like every house on the road to kumba has bullet holes like we, we had about six to seven police um stops on the road on the way to kumba and each stop you have to go down and show your id card yeah and i think that's safe I don't, uh, you know a lot of people have bad um impression about kumba but so far so good everything is calm and i hope it continues till i leave this place <laughs> 
it feels good to be back home like that nostalgia coming to kumba after seven years so coming back here means a lot to me even though i'm here not for the right reasons like i mean i shouldn't be here because of death rather i should come here because of life okay anyways we are here to celebrate her life she was a good woman and i hope to show you guys how her um burial ceremony goes okay that celebration i hope to show you guys her death celebration how it was celebrated and how bangwa people do celebrate um someone who is dead okay so stay with me but i'm going to end this travel vlog from tiko road trip from tiko to tukumba yeah thank you guys for watching and if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't watched my if you have been skipping my ads please don't because that's how i make money on youtube even though youtube has been slashing our money so please do watch it okay thank you guys and uh, i'll talk to you guys some other time bye bye